Traffic fix is great, but how about we prevent traffic from getting out of hand in the first place? Because in this video, we'll go over the best ways to reduce traffic in your city. Let's go! Number 1. Public Transportation Public transportation is one of the best ways to get your citizens off the road. If we look at a base game bus which has a capacity of 30 citizens, that means 30 less cars on the road. Because, like, to my knowledge, there is no carpooling in game. Be sure to have good public transportation layout, meaning not only to connect the busiest areas of your city, but also keeping line sharing in mind. There is also the free public transportation policy, which can encourage citizens to use public transport more and without any expenses, if we overlook the fact that they pay for that with the taxes money. Number 2. Express Lines Adding express lines to your existing public transportation system can also work wonders. The express lines only stop at major stops along your route. If you want to add, let's say, an express train, be sure to have a bypass at local train stations to avoid express trains being held up by local trains. Number 3. Removing parking spots Removing parking spots from roads also has a great effect. The parking lots that most buildings have built in can hardly handle all vehicles using them. If parking spots are occupied, the citizens will park on the nearest spot on the side of the road. If you use roads lined with trees, grass, or biking lanes, the parking spots will be removed. That means the parking spots are further away from the destination your citizens want to go, and that can make public transportation faster and thus more interesting for them to use. The end result would be fewer cars on the road. Number 4. Overload Beware of having an overloaded public transport system. If there are too many citizens waiting in-game days for overcrowded trains, metro vehicles, buses, ferries, cable cars, trams, and monorail vehicles, public transportation in itself can cause issues. Also, keep in mind that too many buses can also clog up your roads. The airport's DLC, for instance, contains two buses with higher capacity, one with 50 seats and one with 60 seats. So, you would need fewer buses to pick up the same amount of citizens. Number 5. Cargo Traffic A good solution to reduce your freight or cargo traffic is the cargo train terminal and the cargo harbor. These buildings provide sort of a public transport solution for the cargo transport through your city. They can be very effective at getting rid of some of the freight traffic on your roads. There is also the cargo hub, which is a combination of train and ship cargo with road access for truck traffic. Be aware, though, that these buildings essentially reduce the truck traffic on your roads, but accumulate a lot of truck traffic directly around them. Number 6. Pedestrian and Bike Paths Placing pedestrian and bike paths all around your city is another great way to get the citizens off the road. They will go great distances without their car if you have a good walkable city. Remember that your citizens will also prefer walking paths over crossing the streets, which also causes a reduction in traffic having to slow down. Number 7. Zoning Different zones each have slightly different types of traffic. Spread out individual zones rather than mass zoned areas can have a positive effect on your traffic. And keep in mind that low density zones have less traffic than high density zones. Bonus tips! The office specialization IT cluster can generate some goods which are distributed without using cargo trucks on the road. And the commercial specialization organic and local produce creates buildings which require fewer cargo deliveries. Now, if you want to know more super interesting details about City Skylines, I highly recommend you check out this video right over here. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and stay safe out there. Bye-bye.